Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the AV8B Harrier and we're looking at rippling JDAMs using mark points. All credit to T-Cypher from the Grim Reapers who figured this out and told us how to do it. Note, this is mid November 2020. This method may change in the future or at least there may be other ways of doing this, but this is our technique. Now there are slight modifications of this technique in terms of the order in which you do things, but we suggest using the exact order that I'm about to show. We found it most trouble free. So, master arm on, air to ground, stores page, select our J82s, fuse with instant, next ESHD. As we've just found out from Cypher, we can change the color of the text. Map M, color. Turn off map M. Next, we must box turn on designation. Currently on STP steer point. We'll change that later. Next, we need to go and find our targets. You can use your T-Pod if you want to use super accurate targeting. I'm going to use the DMT because it's just easier for me in this case. Already got it pointing at the bad guys. We are going to drop 10 JDAMs on 10 static targets. No, that's not particularly realistic, but this is a proof of concept. Before we go any further, we should look at the controls. To slew our DMT or T-Pod, we've got TDC forward, aft, left, right. To change designation from steer point to target, TDC down. Drop the bomb, obviously press bomb pickle. Waypoint increment is very important. A short press, just a tap of the button, will cycle between mark points or between targets. A long press of over 0.8 seconds and then release will enable our JDAM symbology. So let's find our first target. Let's start down here. I think that should be accurate enough for our purpose. Once we have the DMT or T-Port in position, with or without a track, and the track can be a point track or an area track, we're going to press mark point. That has created mark point zero as that guy there, and that will save that in memory. Let's move and find the next one. Mark point one, and so on. Okay, it's now registering as mark point 10, so mark point zero to nine, and now populated with targeting information. Next, we're gonna slew over to our ES ESHD. We're going to press TDC down to change to designation target. You can see steer point has changed to target here. Next, we're going to do a long press of waypoint increment to bring up our symbology for the, for the JDAM and release. We've got the symbology there. Also, we've got ranging symbology here. Our max arm in there. Next, we want to manually move to our mark point one here so we can go up and down with these that's waypoint one that's mark point zero and so on to increment in steps of one upwards we press waypoint increment waypoint increment short and you can see you can use that to do the incrementing okay back down to zero where we're going to start and at some pause wait for the ranging just use your normal JDAM ranging system in range and drop, increment, 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 drop, drop. Okay, let's turn away. Over speeding, I think. As I drop these at different speeds and different ranges, they will take different ballistic paths, but they will all get to target. Okay, let's go and find our guys. Probably that one's going to be the first. Look how they start spreading out and overtaking each other. And that's because some are going to loft slightly, some are not going to loft, and we'll find some interesting timing as they drop. But let's see how it goes anyway. And we are going to stop there. So that one we fired you know, later on, but it still arrived first. Three. There's some early ones. What's that? Five destroyed? Six destroyed? Uh, here comes the later ones. I think. Oh, are we still coming? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So these ones took a completely different ballistic path. Boom, boom. It's eight. It's nine. And boom, ten. And they all exploded as well. Not bad. It shows what we can do with the DMT. So, my only recommendation is remember the accuracy number in the symbology in the HUD 
um, launch all of them around the highest accuracy number possible. So what I'm saying is if you launch one of those JDAMs right at the edge of our max of that that bomb, then it's very liable to miss. It will become inaccurate. And the same when you're getting too close to the minimum drop range, your accuracy will diminish. Uh, this here is about as accurate as you can expect a bunch of JDAMs to land. So uh, go and have some fun rippling with your mark points in the Harrier. I hope that was useful and see you later.